Hello, I'm billiard instructor Tom Simpson. I've spent over 15 years working with players on the problem of training their stroke arm to move in the most simple and useful way. We work on this in great depth at pool school, but until now we didn't really have a way for everyone to feel what their swing should feel like, where their upper arm should be, and how to leave the upper arm quiet while they swing their forearm. I guess it took me that long to really get to the heart of the matter, to get to the simplest, most efficient way to train. I've come up with something that really works. It doesn't require a lot of complicated equipment. You don't even have to have a pool table. I call it the stroke groover. A few minutes here and there with the stroke groover will train your stroke arm. You'll clearly feel what your stroke should feel like and how your arm should move. And as your body gets a feel for the optimum stroke movement, it becomes easier and more natural to repeat it and to find consistency. Swing changes are difficult to burn in, but with a stroke groover, when you get out of stroke, a minute or two should be enough to help remind your arm of what it should be doing and how it should feel. This brief video explains the purpose of the stroke groover, shows you how to use it, and tells you how to get one for yourself, or, if you're an instructor, how to get some for your pool students. Let's take a look. Most pool instructors these days teach a pool swing with just one moving part. That's the forearm swinging in the elbow joint. There's a lot of benefits to this style of swing. Uh, it's simple, it only has one moving part, it has fewer muscles, fewer ways to mess up. There's a lot of benefits and we go through all that in pool school, but for now what I want to talk about is the problem of how do you train your arm to do that simple move because the natural thing that everybody does is they get to about here folding the arm and then drop the upper arm. We're pretty good at that, but we can do a more effective, more useful pull stroke if we just use one moving part and one set of muscles. The stroke groover teaches your body how to do that. The basic idea of the stroke groover is that it's not going to allow me to drop my upper arm while I swing. It's a mechanical aid that you can use anywhere. All you need is an extra pool cue. So you take any old pool cue, you take your stroke groover, it has a little pocket on one side. You slide the tip of the cue into the pocket. You point the pocket away from the player. Then the player puts his stroke arm through the loop from the front to the back, up to the upper arm. Gets comfortable. Grabs his stick. Strokes at the bottom of the swing groove. You'll notice no matter how hard I try, I'm unable to pull my upper arm down, and so I'm training my arm to work like this, very simply. You can hit balls this way also, but the main idea is to feel the groove and to teach your arm how to leave the upper arm out of this. Let's look at how to adjust the stroke groover to the height of the player. Players come in different heights and you want to have them stroking at a height above the rail that's comfortable and correct for them. So again, we have a pocket here. We're going to slide that onto our support cue. We're going to point the pocket away from the player, and she's going to slide her stroke arm through from the front to the back, which is kind of weird, but that's the way we do it. Then to the inside of the stick, grabbing the cue, bending down to the shot, and we can position this wherever it has to be so it's not banging into it. Now you'll see we've got too much clearance here, so let's adjust the height while she's down by giving a little more slack here, lowering the loop, and let's check it again. So when you're at the bottom of the loop, are you banging the table? Let's go even a little lower, and let's see what that looks like, and that's nice. So you can stroke freely there and perfectly. No, my skin is not blue or gray or whatever color you saw on your monitor. You know, my camera had some kind of a problem. The cloth on the pool table you just saw was bright blue. My camera is going to hear about it later. Oh well. My recommendations. I think the best way to train with something like the stroke groover is to work it in slow motion. Swing your arm really slowly. Slow motion, really slowly with high awareness both directions. Really notice what you're doing and how you're doing it. What feels right? Where are you fighting yourself? What extra stuff are you doing? 
What kinds of small changes can you make in the way you move your arm that might make your stroke more smooth and consistent? Find your groove, the place where your cue movement is easy and fluid and straight. Then after a minute or two of that, try that same movement without the groove. Slow motion is where you can really feel what you're doing and train in some perfection. And if you can't beat people with a stick, try a strap. Pause on this screen to capture the price and ordering information. When you're ready to order, email or mail your order to us. Credit cards are acceptable. Let's get some perfection going.